fine tuning with index variable right so let's understand how do you fine tune with the index variable for this i am using the acme test ui part.com work items portal i am going to provide you the link to this particular site in the description box so that you can open this for the practice purpose so now once you get into the acme site the requirement is that from the entire table you have to only get one column data for example the work item id okay so work item id all this work item ids i wanted to fetch not the entire table i don't want to scrape the entire data but i want only the work item id from the entire table okay such a practical scenario this is from lot of reporting tools you might need this kind of automation to be built so how do you do it so you re require fine tuning with index variable so let's see how to do that before that myself rakesh from expo hub please do subscribe to our channel in case you have not done it guys and please please do like all our videos for the effort that we put to bring forward the knowledge that you need thank you very much being said let's get started so now here what i am going to do first thing is i have to open the browser right so I, in that browser i have to work so here i'll be using a partial selector and for partial selector this time i'm going to use the attach browser so when you're using attach browser this becomes a partial selector there's a video video already i hope you have already seen that to understand full uh, selectors partial selectors so here i'm using the partial selector and now i'm going to click on indicate browser on screen and ensure that screen is there in the back end and i'm going to highlight the entire screen okay so the moment i do it and try to look at the selector you can see it has selected html so html is a tag and this is your attribute which is chrome.exe title acme system dot one work items okay it is pulling the required details for us so very good now moving on i wanted to pull only the text in specific column so for that i'll be using an activity called get text okay using the get text activity i'll be pulling the data so let me do one thing here i need to click on indicate element inside a browser and i'm going to highlight the very first one okay so before working on selector you must understand the behavior of that application or web page how it is behaving okay just to understand how my selectors are behaving i'm going to select the very first item okay the moment i do it and try to open the selector and the best way when you're dealing with such things best thing is you always open ui explorer and try to check things there so i have done that then here you can click on open ui explorer or you can go directly from here ui explorer and open it so you can either either way you can do it so let me open uh, in ui explorer and there we will understand how the behavior is changing okay so this is very very important for before you work on selectors okay and selectors will be key determination uh, point for you whether your automation will work or fail okay so remember this is a very very critical skill so now if you see it has selected some default data now what i want when you are dealing with such column and row ensure you go with uh, the attribute table column table row it could be slightly different but again this is what you would find row and column so what do you do so here you can see if i select these two now the table col column 2 is 2 and table row is 2 try to validate of course it is going to work so this is it is saying table column is 2 why it is saying table column 2 because it is 1 uh, 2 column number 2 and row 2 so th this is row 1 and this is row 2 so it's saying 2 so if i select this one it should say column 2 and row 3 correct so let's check that so again indicate element and select the next item so when i select this uh, let's see how this is coming now okay this is very important for you to understand now if you see the table column remains same 2 and the table row become 3 similar way if you go keep on doing what is happening if i go with the next item the row number is increasing every time so you have to implement a logic where it is going to automatically do the job for you right so how do you implement that logic through the index variable how do you fine tune the selector with the index variable let's see that so you can see again the it has increased to 4 so the starting one is 2 
right the starting index is 2 so what i'm going to do i am going to sorry I, so once you go to the U, open your explorer once you have selected that hit on uh, okay so that that gets saved here let me redo that okay so once i ha i am on this page scroll down selecting table column 2 and the table row is increasing okay table column is remaining constant because that column is constant so hit on save once you validate so this is how you'll be working so hit on save so that way it is going to come over the screen click on okay done now i wanted to make it dynamic right the dynamic uh, uh, selector i have to create by which it is going to change the index variable for that is quite simple what i'm going to do i am going to use a for each loop or do while loop anything you want so let me use a do while loop okay so do uh, do while or i think the best will be while loop anything you like you can put a condition you can think of a logic so while loop let's say so here what i'm going to do the i am going to store the default value so let's say i am creating a variable called counter or index number so i am creating a variable and i am going to make it to integer and here i am going to give the first call row value is 2 right then 3 then it is becoming 4 and 5 so i am going to assign a value called 2 here okay so once i do this now the next point for me is to implement this so what i am going to do here i am going to say index let's say that you want to retrieve 10 values 100 values depending on the uh, number of data you have let's say index is less than 10 let's say i'm going to retrieve 10 values then what it should do it should go there okay so here it should go and get the text for me okay whatever the text is so what i have to do i have to go you know i am dragging and dropping this get text activity inside the while loop clear now here in the get text i am going to change the selectors okay so how do you say so this one is changing right so what you do just highlight this particular variable 2 okay just highlight this and you do a right click okay properly highlight do not highlight everything let's say i am going to highlight like this and try to right click i may not get a option okay so ensure you are only selecting that particular value 2 okay be caref careful and now right click so now you will have an option choose variable so what i'm going to do i'm going to choose the variable index which i have just created which is default value is 2 so i'm going to choose this so you see how it has been how it has written index okay then validate and click on okay so what i'm going to do now while this loop is running inside that i'm going to use assign activity and i'm going to increase it okay so here i will say index is equal to index plus one so that way the value is increasing so that next time when it comes into the loop the selector will take three then four like that all the data will come so index plus one okay done so now this is done this is going to work and what output i want i want let's say i will use a right line activity okay and here i want to see the uh, output so here when you are using a get text put a variable here in the output variable declare control plus k let's say op output or whatever you want to put so op i am saying now once the output derives into this i want to write this so i will say do id why it is not taken wid then give a plus sign okay so i forgot to give the plus sign anyways so once i have done this let me see how it is working save it and hit on run okay so now dynamically it is going to go through that loop and start writing the values for me so let's see that you see all the work id starting from 815 to the 826 all the values have been pulled for me okay all the 10 data so this is a very very important chapter for you to understand how to work with the selector guys thank you very much for watching i'm going to provide link to this particular acmes site you can uh, save it in your browser okay you save it so that you can utilize a lot many examples uh, thank you very much as i always request you for all the efforts that we put to bring forward the knowledge i am requesting you to please 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 like all our videos thank you guys have a wonderful day